Well, here's something you don't hear every day, but there is a welcome site for drivers on Interstate 66. <laughs> You're right about that. Uh, this is a new digital signage that's gone up, letting you know just how long of a travel time you can expect as you head toward your destination. That's a move that some say will really brighten up their commute. Suzanne Kennedy joins us now live from Arlington with more on this. Hi, Suzanne. Leon, on any given night, the commute here on I-66 can be a total disaster. Well, now help is on the way. You see them on Interstate 95, but now they're calling I-66 home as well. Nine digital display signs are providing real-time traffic information. 66, lanes are open. For motorists on this busy east-west highway. I look at it. It seems to be accurate. It grabs your attention. Vienna gas station manager Tom Evans travels daily on I-66. He welcomes anything that could help his commute. If there was an accident, at least I could know and have the option to get off at another exit to bypass that. So if that's the case. The signs went online last week. They will be illuminated weekdays from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. and weekends from 8 to 8. There are three eastbound signs and six westbound ones, each offering miles and minutes to a set destination. When folks know that they see five miles, five minutes, or 10 miles, 10 minutes, they know that their commute can be reliable. But when we start to see a backup uh, and say those numbers get larger and larger, uh, we can put more information on the sign. Drivers hope the signs will reduce their commute time. Traffic moving very well inside and outside the Beltway. Which is among one of the worst in the nation. It's helpful knowing if there's going to be a delay and it's going to take me longer than I thought. I think 66 can be a nightmare sometimes and uh, any additional information it would be definitely be helpful. Signs have been on I-95 for about 18 months, just a few days here on I-66. The hope is that one day soon they will be on the Beltway. In Arlington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.